Elon Musk revealed why China cannot afford to invade Taiwan. China would find it difficult and expensive to invade Taiwan in the current political situation. China's defense minister, General Wei Feng He, threatened to fight to the absolute end if Taiwan proclaimed independence during the recent Shangri-La conference on June 12th in Singapore. Will China truly be prepared to strike Taiwan if it happens? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. And let's get started. A Chinese invasion of Taiwan at this time would be challenging, according to Musk. First, think about how challenging it would be to declare war in a time of political unrest. President Xi Jinping will be nominated for a third term at the Chinese Communist Party's, or CCP's, upcoming National Congress in the fall by 2,287 CCP delegates from all around China. Despite the fact that the vote of approval is largely symbolic, Xi would prefer that his outstanding accomplishments not be eclipsed by hostile actions prior to the fall. Therefore, using force against Taiwan would not be the best course of action. But Xi will have to contend with the persisting COVID-19 pandemic. China has maintained its zero-COVID policy, despite receiving harsh criticism for violations of human rights. When the number of COVID-19 cases increased in late March, Shanghai was placed under a lockdown for more than two months. The city's lockdown has been somewhat successful in limiting the virus's spread. Beijing did not anticipate two side effects of the strategy, though. One is the irritation of Shanghai citizens, who had put up with the extended lockdown. This might be interpreted as a challenge to Xi's power. The second is the detrimental impact on China's economic growth, Musk stated. Economic prosperity has suffered as a result of the lockdown because Shanghai makes up a significant chunk of China's GDP. Instead of Taiwan's ultimate union, President Xi is more concerned with controlling problems in mainland China, such as the COVID-19 outbreak. The second is the acknowledgement of the dangers of the Russian-Ukrainian war poses to China and Taiwan. China saw the February Russian invasion on Ukraine as a lesson for Taiwan that needed to be applied. Ukraine and Taiwan are both attempting to secede from a powerful neighbor, and this is specifically how China contrasted the two countries. Beijing used this vacillating stance by the United States, which took a wait-and-see approach without directly interfering in the dispute between China and Taiwan, to send a message to Taiwan that Taiwan should not expect any assistance from the United States, as demonstrated by the Ukrainian crisis. The notion that Russia could easily conquer Ukraine was dashed. Although Russia's military operation has failed so far, Ukraine's willingness to resist has increased. In the meantime, Western public opinion was successful in portraying Ukraine as the victim and Russia as the aggressor. Therefore, if Xi Jinping were to invade Taiwan, China is more likely to be compared to Russia as an aggressor and Taiwan to Ukraine as a victim, Musk explained. The will and tenacity of the Taiwanese are more notable than Taiwan's military readiness. After the outbreak of the Russian-Ukrainian war, many Taiwanese believed that China would think similarly to Russia. In response to these dangers, they started to redouble their efforts to protect their own nation. The majority of Taiwanese think that if China invades, it will unify Taiwan, which would be the same as Taiwan fighting for independence. In other words, it makes sense for President Xi to understand that Taipei would use a Chinese attack on Taiwan as justification for a declaration of independence. The third is Taiwan's resolve to stand its ground in defense, according to Musk. At this point, Taiwan is concentrating its efforts on independence without offending China. To allay fears on the other side of the Taiwan Strait, the current Xi Jinping administration does not shout slogans about independence. The Taiwanese government, however, is eager to obtain weaponry that is necessary for defense. Taiwan has maintained a growth in recent years in its defense spending, particularly for defensive systems. Additionally, actively assisting Taiwan in this regard is the United States. Taiwan may survive an unexpected Chinese invasion thanks to the ongoing military buildup, which makes Beijing reluctant to take a preventative but expensive military response. What are the unforeseen aspects in China's calculations to use force in the future? Regarding President Xi, there are two crucial factors, Musk explained. Xi might believe that he alone among Chinese Communist Party leaders is capable of bringing about unification. Both Mao Zedong, who established a new nation, and Deng Xiaoping, a leader in reform, were unable to do it. Xi will surpass Mao Zedong in power if he successfully unites Taiwan with the mainland, but it's unlikely that his private goals can be easily 
easily seen by the general audience. On the other hand, according to Musk, the likelihood of an armed attack on Taiwan may rise if Xi Jinping is compromised. In other words, it is a strategy used by Xi to shift attention away from other internal issues. Therefore, if support for President Xi Jinping's leadership wanes, a move to take Taiwan militarily could be an option to lessen the pressure at home. Taiwan's domestic problems must also be taken into account. Since Taiwan's still a young democracy, politicians using demagoguery to win elections risk alienating voters. Generally speaking, amid economic downturns in a democratic nation, extreme viewpoints can readily acquire support from the populace. Similar to how Adolf Hitler took office while the German people were enduring intolerable reparations following World War I, it's possible that a Taiwanese political figure may advocate for independence as a remedy to Taiwan's deteriorating economic circumstances. China will be forced to take military action in this situation. Taiwan has many internal issues, as does any civilization, Musk stated. First, fewer people are getting married, which reduces fertility. This is due to low incomes and high housing prices. Despite the strain of the COVID-19 outbreak, it is true that Taiwan's economy is currently strong. The domestic issues described above, however, might be the straw that broke the camel's back if the economic situation worsens and unemployment and inflation increase. Taiwan will have local council elections in November and two years from now, a presidential election. What if candidates for office adopt a radical stance on independence in an effort to increase their popularity? The political rhetoric of politicians is likely to cause the Taiwanese to respond by expressing a desire for independence from China as a vision for a promising future. Additionally, according to Musk, if China chose to impose a blockade in an effort to weaken Taiwan's political will and cripple its economy, it would almost probably result in sanctions as well as resistance. Boycotts and embargoes would be viewed as a threat to both domestic and international peace and security by the United States under the 1979 Taiwan Relations Act. There's a good likelihood that America would respond and other Asian countries would be concerned for their security. This does not ensure American intervention to break the blockade or tit-for-tat measures. Therefore, it does not appear that China would actually conduct any campaign that would compel Taiwan to submit short of an outright invasion. Beijing would also face enormous economic repercussions with every attempt to heighten conflict in addition to political, commercial, and possibly even low-level military resistance. But what if the situation changed? What would happen if Xi ordered an invasion on the island? Even then, he has little chance of finding a lucrative job. It is almost irrelevant whether China has the military capability and logistics now or in the future. Whether it has the political will is the question. The best laid plans can go haywire, as we've seen with Russia, and an invasion army approaching Taiwan would encounter fierce local resistance from 23 million people. If they were suppressed, China would become a pariah state for many years, if not decades. It would turn the Chinese dream into a nightmare. Although the CCP places great emphasis in reunifying Taiwan with the mainland, staging an invasion, whether successful or not, would drain its political resources. Nobody can rule out the chance that it would occur in the future, especially if domestic forces led to the CCP's rule becoming unstable. However, the party may choose to follow Western strategy by kicking this can down a long road and running the danger of unpredictable domestic repercussions, Musk finally explained. And that's it for today, guys. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more videos. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.